the, the utopian dream was completely unimplementable for a variety of very complex reasons one is that it's very hard to fight against that distribution pattern when people are trading because mere statistics will do that and then there's other things that and I should tell you as well that the Pareto distribution governs, governs a lot of things so like if you look at books if I remember properly last year there was something like a million English language books published and I think 500 of them sold more than 100,000 copies which is none, right? that's none and of that 500 you can be sure that one of them was by Stephen King and he took half the money because there's like five authors in the English language who are at, on every airport paperback stand occupying the top rung and that's massive real estate, right? because it's replicated everywhere and because they're so prominent and because there are known names when people are in a hurry and they just want something to read they just grab that and then more money goes to those people and so you know success breeds success and failure breeds failure and it's not necessarily linear and that's a really difficult thing to deal with and it's hard on societies because one of the things we do know is that you know as you stretch out the inequality you make men, particularly, on the lower end of the distribution more and more likely to be aggressive it's sort of like, you imagine every man has a threshold for violence um, and status is important to men not that it's not important to women, but it's different it's, it's a different kind of status it's, status is important to men because it's one of the things that makes them marketable as partners to women so it actually turns out to be quite important to men the men tend to compete with one another for status, hierarchy position, and in a really unequal society if you're like a low rung guy then, and you don't have any opportunity to rise because the society isn't structured so that there's mobility then the more aggressive guys tend to turn to criminality and you know, and so you could say there's a threshold for criminality and the more inequality pressure you put on a particular area, geographic or political area, the more inequality pressure you put on it, the more men slip past that threshold and into criminality.